on Shoshane University. Today's topic is going to be on how to replace the sensor board on the end of your motor, uh, being that it's been predetermined that it's bad, it's faulty, uh, and you've received a new one in the mail. So what we're going to do first and foremost is uh, we're going to take our zip tie and cut it off, located here. The next step we're going to do is we're going to come to our Deutsch plug. The only three wires that we need to unpin are our wires to our sensor board, which are on our gray lead. So you're going to come in, you're going to remove your green cap that locks the pins in, and you're going to unpin all three of your wires. Please take note of your wire locations. White, red, black. White, red, black. So this way you put them all back the same way, okay? Okay, set the Deutsch plug aside. Next step, you have a pinch bolt right here on the end of your flywheel. You want to break that loose. Okay, doesn't take but maybe a half a turn. Take note of the orientation of the flywheel. Your gap in your, your pinch bolt is perpendicular to the shaft opening. You want that because if they happen to be like this and you tighten down, you're going to squeeze the shaft shut. You'll have a problem getting the motor back on. So you'll want it 90 degrees to it. And if you look across the bottom here, you have to make sure that you have enough space under the flywheel to clear the wire and your screw head. If that's the correct depth, your flywheel is just shy of being flush at the top. So go ahead and remove that, set that down. Next step is you just get your Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to remove two screws. Take note again the orientation way it's oriented on the motor. Take this off, set it aside. I'm going to grab your new one. hard to start the screw when you first get started on it. Get that one started. Go over to the other one. You don't want to go super tight, you don't want to crack the board. You want to also be careful if you look, this is recessed. Make sure it goes down in the recess of the board and sits flush down in there and then just tighten up your screw. That's, that's your board replacement, okay? It's tight, not too tight. Next you're going to take your flywheel you're going to put it back on. Notice the cutouts in the flywheel, they face up. Start tightening it down to the pinches a little bit, and then you need to set your depth. Again, you want to make sure you're 90 degrees to your shaft opening. Again, if you look, we're clearing the wire and we're clearing the screw head. We're 90 degrees and we're a little recessed right here on the shaft. Okay, and you want to you just want to go tight enough on the, tin, the pinch bolt to where you can hold the shaft and not turn the flywheel off the off the shaft. Okay? Doesn't have to be super tight. Then we're going to take a new zip tie.
I just happen to have white, you use black, white, whatever color makes you happy. Run your wire down through your opening, down to your grouping here. And again, you don't want these being super tight because if you over tighten a zip tie, you can actually break the sheeting on the wire and cause a short. Just meant to hold it in place. Okay, cut the excess piece off. This should be what you've got. Okay, then we're going to repin after, of course, after you feed it, feed you through, you're going to repin your Deutsch plug. And that will conclude the video. At that point, when you reinstall it in the tube, problem solved.